Hi everyone. I wanted to share some cleaning tips for business people in this video and share with you some personal experiences I've had as a custodian at some point in my life. So some cleaning tips. Have you ever been to a business where there's a pile of stuff on the ground and you're walking down the aisle trying to buy something? Have you, as business owners, considered what it's like to be a customer in that kind of a setting? So say one of your workers neglected to pick up piles of stuff and it, it um, gained more and more stuff in that pile over time and nobody wanted to go through the pile. Well, I would recommend hiring somebody to clean up things like that. For example, um, if you just have anybody in your workplace clean up those piles and they don't want to do it, they're going to neglect some things and it's not going to be a fun experience for them or you. So what I would recommend is hiring somebody who would be willing and joyfully um, considerate of others in the workplace and uh, customers. So, for example, say you have a pile of stuff that needs separating, that needs organization and in order to be put back to where it belongs. What you can do is have the cleaning person separate the items into like items, put it on some kind of cart or table with wheels, and then have the workers who know where those items go put them back while the custodian is concerned about cleaning only. Make sure the person you hire for this kind of job is paid well because this job is helping your business look exceedingly well and clean. It's not a worthless job. It's a good job um, and it needs to be considered um, with better regard than, than generally speaking. So, as you hire the right custodial person, again, make sure they're happy to do the job. They're not just someone who wants a job, but they're somebody that enjoys cleaning. That way it'll make your experience at work much better and it will help really lighten up your business. And that's key. So, when you hire that custodial worker, I would suggest making sure they stay at least six feet apart from clients or customers at all times when they're working around them. That way, they'll keep a safe distance and they won't try to hassle. They won't be able to look like they're hassling customers. Sometimes workers who are fed up with customers and fed up with cleaning push customers out of the way so they can get their job done. You don't want to hire someone like that. Because <laughs> then you're chasing away your customers. Okay. So, when I was a custodial worker, it was relaxing environment. Um, I got a lot done, and I made the places where I swept, where I mopped, vacuumed, and whatever else I was doing look much better and much more pleasant to be around. And I got lots of compliments because the people knew that I was making a difference. So, likewise, if you hire someone to clean up your business on a regular basis, make sure you respect them and encourage them also. All right, I hope those tips help you out, business owners. 
Cheers to you. Enjoy your coffee experiences. Try to make sure it's not poopy coffee. <laughs> and I wish the best for you. Peace.